Hi, May. I'm Zoe. Why are you here? Hi, Zoe. I haven't been well. <coughs> I'm having difficulty breathing. Thankfully, my owner noticed and brought me here. Dr. Garcia will help you figure out what's going on. Hi, May. There's a good girl. How can I help you today? Well, I've been worried about May. She's been coughing for a while now, and she's had a few episodes where she can't seem to breathe very well. Poor May. Let's have a look and see what's going on. Remind me, does May go outdoors? No. Actually, almost never. Some of May's clinical signs sound similar to feline asthma. However, they could also be possible signs of feline heartworm disease. Feline heartworm infection is transmitted by infected mosquitoes, and it is widespread across the U.S. Clinical signs like persistent coughing and labored breathing can develop when the heartworm larvae arrive in the lungs. This is called heartworm-associated respiratory disease, HARD, and the effects are due to the cat's immune response to the heartworm larvae in the lungs. Feline heartworm infection is more prevalent than we once thought and is on the rise. The true prevalence is likely underestimated due to underuse of a diagnostic protocol that makes use of a variety of tests, sometimes difficulties in interpreting test results or transient or absent clinical signs in some cats. The Companion Animal Parasite Council, CAPC, estimates, based on necropsy and antibody studies, that cats are infected with heartworm larvae at a rate similar to adult heartworm infection rates in dogs. The American Heartworm Society AHS survey found canine heartworm diagnosed in all 50 states, with an average increase nationwide of 21.7% in the number of cases diagnosed per hospital between 2013 and 2016. To determine the root cause, I'm going to conduct a few tests, including antigen and antibody tests for heartworm infection. Try to stay calm, May. Good girl. What I'm performing right now is an antibody test. It's the only way we identify larval heartworm infections in the lungs. That's the most common stage of infection, and the one most commonly responsible for the clinical signs. We'll get chest x-rays. We will also test the same blood sample for heartworm antigen, so we can look for the adult stage of heartworm infection. Uh, all these tests. I'm worried about May. Multiple tests are normal and necessary when testing for heartworm disease in cats, as no single test detects all heartworm life cycle stages. Diagnosis should start with both antigen and antibody tests. The antibody test is needed to look for the cat's immune response to larval infection in the lungs. Antigen tests can detect adult worm infections in the pulmonary arteries and or heart. Radiography and or echocardiography should also be used for cats with clinical signs. Making through all the tests like a little champion. Oh, May, I'm so proud of you. Good girl, May. Looking at the results, May has been infected with heartworm and has signs of feline heartworm disease. But you did the right thing by coming here. Veterinary clinics are the best place to seek advice on prevention and treatment. How in the world could May get infected? She stays inside all the time. Even indoor cats can get heartworm infection. In one study, approximately 25% of cats diagnosed with adult heartworm disease were described by their owners as indoor-only cats. The American Heartworm Society recommends that all cats that spend time in areas where there are heartworm-infected mosquitoes should receive year-round monthly preventative medication. Because there is no approved treatment for feline heartworm infection, prevention is always the best option. There can be long-term health consequences for heartworm-positive cats, reducing their quality of life. With prevention, these can be avoided, along with the cost and difficulty of treatment to relieve the signs of disease. I'll definitely make sure May gets year-round prevention now. The great news is that we caught it early, and we will monitor her until the infection clears. See, May? You're in good hands. Thank you, Zoe. I couldn't have done it without you. <laughs>